Hello all and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Red Dead Redemption. Let me see, let me see. What do we have? Of the missions we have for there. So yeah, we're gonna visit Jose first, I think. I help help there, but before we do stay away from me. Oh, but, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. It always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning oh. barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> sad man indeed. Hey. Well, let's shave. I should do that myself also. Uh, let's sleep till the morning. I think in this game, no, in this life essentially, Red Dead Redemption, the Arthur is the real leader of the gang, not Dutch. We all follow Dutch, but Dutch is not that great of a leader. There's that horse got too. Where's my horse? Oh, here it comes. Well, yeah, we're gonna go to Hosea. See what he have to say. Yep. And this time we are not gonna go without freaking rifles. That's just not my way. Let me open it. Oops. Not working. Well, whatever. Let's go meet with Jose. Because I think you have some jobs. Ooh, Dutch also wants to meet with me. Interesting. Hey 
mister. Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Thank you. Oh, this is some nice oak. Hello. Ah, please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We we're just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys mm -hmm. going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we could take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> Oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. <laughs> okay. Hop on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. Fine. Uh, let's see what Ready? kind let's of troubles are in our. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his <laughs> throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The <laughs> smug fucker. Okay. <laughs> so what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep, using that back there. Moonshine? Born's faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about I try fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Those here really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't they? Ah, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons I'm in. But more for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. <laughs> there really better be some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. <laughs> they were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they've taken on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, then. Yep. Well, here we go. Hmm, there's a house there. Uh, I need to make some... No, I should go with the vermin rifle and hunt those three perfect pelts. I'll probably do that in the next episode or something. Oh, can we go faster? Yes, we can. Okay. Good, good horses. There's nothing to talk. Really? Sad.
No, really, I don't. Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here. I'll go hide in the back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I can't really see. There was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies, uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay, they said. Okay, Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <laughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> Uh, fine bit of country you've got here. And not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah. And they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Uh, right there. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. We can hold up in here till it gets dark. Okay. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, in the next episode, we're gonna burn some tobacco. So, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.